maybe I won't put this bit in. Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. Welcome to the second video in my series on how to warm up before you practice. This video is all about breathing and air. If you didn't see my first video already that was on physical warm up and stretching your body, then hopefully if I can manage the editing you can find it here. Warming up your breathing and your air supply is really important because it forms the basis for your sound. Today I'm going to give you a whole lot of different exercises that you can just do along with me. Some of these exercises can go on for as long as you want them. You can carry them up and down two or three octaves. So at some point I might say, okay, you can pause the video and continue the exercise on your own. And at the end, I'm going to give you a whole load of tips for how you can invent your own breathing exercises. First of all, you're going to make sure that you're all stretched out, everything is relaxed, you're not carrying tension anywhere. And I'd recommend standing up, two feet planted firmly on the ground. We're going to start by warming up the whole breathing mechanism. Now, I prefer to think of my breathing as coming from down here, supported by my diaphragm, not breathing high here, and then getting tension in my shoulders and neck. We're going to breathe in for four beats, hold for four beats, then we're going to blow the air out in eight short bursts, and then we're going to wait for four beats. And those eight bursts of air should all be exactly the same, okay? Let's go. Now you can repeat this exercise for as long as you like. I recommend doing it something like eight or 12 times. And while you're doing it, also try moving your head, your neck and your shoulders to make sure they're not getting stiff. We're now gonna do that exercise again, but instead of eight short bursts, we're going to do one long equal breath out. Try and make sure it's the same the whole way through. Ready? We're going to do that exercise again, but instead of breathing out for four and then waiting for four, we're going to distribute that out breath over the full eight beats. So now you're actually blowing out with less pressure, but you have to be really careful it stays the same for all of those eight long beats. Ready? <sighs> I breathed in as an upbeat, that's not the idea. Okay, um, my breathing mechanism is warmed up. What I really like to do first is take a long, low F 
that's just all of the holes covered and blow that for as long as I possibly can. Really listening to make sure that it stays the same throughout, no little bubbles. <sighs> and I just find it really nice to do that. So let's go. Mm -hmm. If you like, you can time yourself with a metronome, count how many metronome clicks it is and see if tomorrow you can get one beat extra. After my long F, I like to do a long F sharp. This is a much less stable note that needs a much more controlled breath pressure. So it's also really good to do this one. And then of course we're gonna do it with the high F, really fast air stream. I'm now just going to play a series of long notes in all ranges of the recorder and I'd like you to play along with me. We can do this in three ways. You can watch me and copy what I'm doing. You can look away and listen to me by ear so we're doing some oral training or you can play the same note as me but one behind so then we actually end up playing chords with each other. notes should be as stable as possible. If you like you can start adding in some vibrato as well. That's all coming from here. Um, I'm gonna do that in the following rhythm. This vibrato exercise we're going to do a long an arpeggio. I'm gonna do the F sharp arpeggio just to mix it up a bit. We're not only warming up our airstream, we're warming up our ears. So the whole time I want you to be thinking about tuning. Let's play some notes in fifths. When you get to the top of the scale, you can come back down. And if you use the same notes, like G, C, G, then you're actually playing in fourths. So let's practice that interval as well. I find when I'm playing long notes like this, I get to the point where I should be changing to the next note and I hesitate. I'm like, uh, uh, duh, oh. 
and it ends up being really unhandy. So try and think an upbeat like ba and bum and ba. We're doing this without articulation in order to just do everything with air, but thinking that can really help. We're going to do the same exercise now, but with jumps of two octaves. So we're moving from a low airspeed to a high airspeed back to a low airspeed. When you're playing high and fast, that's a lot easier because you just have to go it's when you go back down to the low airspeed that you have to carefully support. Okay, we've blown a lot of notes. We've been listening for the intervals. Let's get the fingers involved a bit with some patterns. Let's do an arpeggio up and a scale back down. And then we're gonna do that starting on each consecutive note. You can also do it from the top down. You can mix major and minor. You could go up and down chromatically. That scale coming down, you could turn that into a chromatic scale as well. As you can probably hear, the danger is always that you start speeding up and getting into, oh, this is nice to play. Keep it slow, keep it steady because the emphasis is on your air support and you should give yourself the time. Then after all of this very technical listening, tuning, thinking about your muscles, I really like to just blow and play something that feels nice and musical. This next pattern was taught to me by my previous teacher, Jorge Isaac, so thanks for that. And it goes, Do, Mi, La, So, Fa, So, Fa, Mi. some or all of these breathing and air exercises I'm always definitely ready to move on to the next step which is fingers that's going to come out next week you don't have to do all of this I like to pick maybe one or two exercises and warm up with that of course all of these can be changed in so many ways you can pick any interval any combination of notes and make that into a breathing exercise for yourself See if you can challenge yourself with different keys, different ways of playing. Thank you for watching my video on how to warm up air and breathing. This is, this is really a huge topic and some of you have already been sending me questions on how to improve your sound in various ways. Please send me more questions. I'm planning to do some videos all about air and sound. So tell me what you want to know. 
Next week will be my video on warming up the fingers. The week after that will be the tongue. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do that by clicking my face. I'm like that dinosaur in Jurassic Park. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.